When I got Maui, he was just being like a little clown. Like he was just trying to call my attention, being super silly. Night night. <laughs> if he doesn't get it his way, he's sassy. I started researching how was the best way to bond with them and build a relationship. Spin. Slowly, I noticed he was super smart and very food motivated. He will do anything for a seed. Good boy. If it's a safflower seed, it's like gold for him. If there's a seed, you could get him to learn quite a bit of things. So I slowly taught him to pick up a ball. And then I got this little hoop and he started learning the basketball. And then he got a little bike. And I was like, okay, this is like a true challenge. But then he got on top of it and came to realize that the pedals moved. His face was like, did I just do that? He figured out like, oh, if I move the pedals, this thing goes forward. And then I get a C. Yeah. So then he would bite the seed and I would kind of pull the seed a little bit forward. And now when he sees the bike, he's like, I love seed, so I love the bike. High five. High five. Good boy. He knows exactly where the seeds are at. He'll go down to the floor and he'll like point at the area where the seeds are at. Are you going to train me? Like I'm ready for the seeds. Who's a good boy? Who's Maui? He's adorable. So whenever he wants to get away with something, good boy, he'll just raise up his little feet and he'll be like, hi. He's also very loving. He'll come up to me and he'll like look up these cute little eyes like, I want scritches. You're trying to teach this little fluffy thing to do something cool. It could be the simplest thing. And I could tell they're also excited that they accomplished something as well. 